Merry Christmas. I hope in addition to watching this brief devotional that you will also tune in via YouTube or the church website or Facebook and watch the little service. It's only about 15 to 20 minutes long that we've prepared for Christmas Day. I think you'll enjoy it. Our theme for our devotion today is living as a child of God, which we are all called to do in response to Christ coming into the world for us. Our scripture is from chapter 1 of John's Gospel, verses 8 through 13. And it begins by speaking about John the Baptist when it says, He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And this is our reflection on that scripture. Realize often the presence of God. It is the first article of religious belief that there is a living God. It is the first act of religious life to realize God and to come into contact with God. It is a mighty act of faith every time. If your thoughts are often of the living God, if God's fatherly care is your trust, if God's will is your final law, if God's communion is your joy, you are living as a child of God, as a possessor of the spiritual and eternal life. Therefore, practice the presence of God. That phrase, practice the presence of God, is one that uh, some of us associate with a man named Brother Lawrence, who was a monk, he was part of a religious community, and he worked in the kitchen. He was basically the one who cleaned the pots and pans, but uh, he sought as a spiritual practice to practice the presence of God at every minute, every moment of the day as best he could. And because of that, his spirit was such that he became the most revered brother in his community. Trying to be mindful of God and our connection with God and God's love and care for us and presence with us as much as possible is one of the ways that we live as God's child. Hear this closing prayer. O thou great companion of our souls, comfort us by the sense of thy presence in the hours of spiritual isolation. Give us a single eye for duty. Guide us by the voice within. May God's voice be with you and speak to you and guide you this day.